our first cruise from Port Canaveral. We just drove from our house in Orlando, Florida. It took about an hour. I love that we're able to cruise from here. And I was joking with Carrie that even if we forgot something, we could literally drive home and come back and make it on time. It's awesome. But you know what else is awesome? It's Brian's birthday. He didn't mention that. Yeah, it's actually today. Boarding day. We are boarding Mariner of the Seas right now for three nights. We just got on and now the first thing we have to do is as soon as we get on board we have to go to our muster station before we can do anything else. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> the smells smell like is amazing. Cruising. The smell from outside the cruise ship, the that that gasoline exhaust smell. Oh my gosh. When we parked and then now the inside smell of all the cleaner. It's great. Okay, that was super quick. We just finished our muster drill. Here's the promenade. Love it. They gave us a little sticker to put on our card. I feel like I'm home because this is the exact same layout as some of our favorite ships and yeah. it's magical. Yeah, we're on Voyager class, which is same as adventure. I think we're going to Windjammer first. Because it's obviously. Brian's birthday and he gets to decide what okay. we do. Yeah, I'm going to decide everything and I'm going to be brutal and cruel with what I decide to do. That's lovely, dear. I'm pretty sure everyone on board has to be vaccinated. And we do have to wear a mask Day still. Nine. We got our little bracelets. We're here. It feels good. It was only fair that I could get a birthday cruise because Carrie got a birthday cruise. That's true. Here's the pool area. And down over there is that observation tower that we've gone to before in Port Canaveral. It's a thing that you could do for free and just go up there and check out all the ships in port. Here we are, Windjammer. Always the first stop. So, of course, like it has been, they will put it on your plate for you. I got an adult meal of chicken fingers and fries. And lots and lots of pasta for me. It is noticeably busier yes. in here. It was hard for us to find a table. And it's like 12 o'clock, which is the first boarding time, I think. Yeah, boarding just started, and um, it was hard to find a table. Yeah. I think... Um, those days of really low capacity might be coming to an end. They might be. That's okay. We had a lot with, we had three cruises yeah. with super low capacity. We'll have to ask later what the capacity is. Yeah. So the reason why we say that there's not a lot of tables available is because they're still doing tables unavailable for social distancing precautions. And yet there's more people on board. So this is a big deal. We've never been on a cruise yet with this magical place, Starbucks. I'm so excited for this. Brian lives in a Starbucks, so now he really can live next to a Starbucks. There's nothing I want more on a cruise ship than a Starbucks. And this is like a legit, like the yeah. signage is the same. I can see the coffee cake muffin that I usually Yeah, this is a 100% official Starbucks that you could use your Starbucks app in. But somebody wrote. Huh? Somebody wrote that. Did you do that? <laughs> How is that already here? It's Starbucks birthday and my birthday. Wow. Okay, what's cool about the Starbucks is they have a seating area over here behind the Starbucks. It's awesome. The only thing they don't have is a official you are here mug that says like Mariner of the Seas. That would be really cool. But they do have mugs that you can buy. They're just not you are here. Yeah, they don't say like Mariner of Royal Caribbean. Well, coming up but next. If they did have a you are here mug for Royal Caribbean or Mariner of the Seas, that would be amazing. You would have all of them. I collect the you are here mugs. I have almost 100, I think, at this point. When we went to Alaska, we made sure to get like the original Starbucks and the Seattle and all that good stuff. It's now past one o'clock, which means our rooms are ready. Not rooms, but just room. Oh my God. <laughs> we have a... We're walking the wrong direction. These numbers are going down. It'll reset because we're in the middle. Oh. Okay, we have a unique room. Um, we don't have a balcony, but we're in the very front of the ship. Hey, here's our room. Oh, it's somebody's birthday. We are on deck 12 and we are room 1852. 
That's I weird that how that's there. <laughs> Isn't that weird? That is weird. How do they know? <gasps> I got a thanks for being a loyal person and now I'm diamond You're static. officially diamond now. Oh, I got a pin! <laughs> I like that I'm more excited even though there's all these birthday decorations in here, but oh. you couldn't be bothered. <laughs> no, I, I love it and I'm shocked. This is a really um, big couch. It is a big couch, and there's also a lot of storage for, you know, uh, an ocean view. Yeah, so this is just an ocean view. There's no balcony. Let's see what our ocean view looks like. Wow! We're, like, right over the helipad. This oh, is this is... Cool. Right here is where you can, like, look into um, the captain, the bridge. Oh, the peekaboo bridge. Yeah, it's, like, right underneath of us. Yeah, so we are literally like in the center of the ship. Okay, let's check out the rest of the room. Yeah, room tour, room tour. Okay, and I think the bathroom is going to disappoint us because we've always had a bathtub. <laughs> but it, the it looks nice even though it, it is does. small. It does, it's very classy. And that's the thing about the Mariner and like this was a newly added room because it used to be a spa. Yeah. And so I think that's probably like, these rooms are nicer. Wow, this is spacious. It looks like it's wet, but I know it's not. An, I know that's oh, just the design. I literally thought it was. I thought it was wet, but it's nice in here. Like I can very. <laughs> Closet, standard stuff. I'm sure we have one of those fridges that is not a fridge. Don't call it a fridge, it says, call it a cooler. Okay, but are those cookies? Cookies, cookies, cookies. They always give us cookies. I don't know if that's because we're diamond. I think it is. That one looks like soft baked. I like these ones, the coconut ones. I want to like go out on our balcony. <laughs> we don't have a balcony. I like the fact that we could lay in bed and it just see where the ship is going. Yeah, it seems. Um, like, even though, like, we could lay in bed and look out the balcony, it seems like we have a better view, you know? I like being over the front. Yeah, not many ships have this room, so, or maybe they do, I don't know. But I saw it and I thought, wow, that's cool. I've never seen that, so we need to do it. What's cool is during Sail Away, we would normally go to, like, the helipad. Yeah. But, like, our room is, like, the helipad. We did just ask the front desk how many people were on board, and on this sailing, it's a little over 50%. Um, they said it was over 2,000 and it normally holds like 4,000. Yeah, and so now I'm wondering, is the Windjammer going to be open for dinner? I hope so. Because they've been saying it's closed. Until 50%. Until it's 50%. They also told us this is the max capacity. Right now. Right now. Like what we're at is as far as they're going to go. For this ship right now. Yeah. That's interesting. That'll probably change. And then we, our main reason for going to the front desk was to make reservations for the escape room because this is also the first time we are going to be able to do an escape room. We've never been on a ship with an escape room. And you know on what? On a ship, I should say. <laughs> we love escape rooms. We've done yeah. practically all of them in Orlando. We freaking love escape rooms. We're kind of experts, I would say. Yeah, so if there's other people in the escape room with us, like... Just step aside, we'll yeah. do it. We'll take care of it. <laughs> it would be so cool to be on board a ship during a launch from the Kennedy Space Station because yeah. I can basically see it from where I'm sitting right now. And I can see your anus right now. Am I allowed to make fun of you for bringing on a full-size thing for a three-night cruise? You are. Let's, let's look at this thing because this is, and not only is this big, it's heavy. Here's the thing. I brought a blanket, and I brought the beach towel. Wait, you brought a beach towel? No, sorry, I brought the beach bag. Oh. <laughs> and so it's like, before those things, it wasn't so bulky. So I blame you. Although the blanket's for me, so really, it's all me. I do it, it's me. No, I don't blame you. There, there's, there's no cost you can bring as much as you want. I shouldn't be making fun of you. Anyway, we are now in our suits. Um, of bathing suits. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, and we're gonna go check out the water slides and cool off because it is hot. It's hot. It's I feel like this is the hottest it's been on one of our cruises. So yeah, time to get in the pool. Okay, this is cool because from the hallway of our room, we can, if this is open, okay, it is. We can go right to the pool deck from here. That's really cool. I love that. Might not be able to see it, but way down there, right there, is the vehicle assembly building at the Kennedy Space Center. What is it? Vehicle assembly building? Yeah, it's like it's just like the largest one-story building in the world. One story? Yeah. That's crazy. I didn't know that. Yeah, because it's just a wide open space inside to assemble so the space shuttle. Wow. Yeah. We should go there. You should show it to me sometime. Yeah. And then down there we have the horrible Disney dream. No, I'm kidding. It's a good looking ship though. It looks beautiful from here. They don't have a Starbucks on board. Neither did any of our other cruises. Well, this one does. They have a really cool restaurant down there. There's actually a couple different restaurants, like right down there. One's called Fish Lips. It's really good. And if you go, you can watch the ship sail away. Which we've done before and it was awesome. Let's say you love the Disney Dream and you're eating at Fish Lips and the Disney Dream leaves for the day. You're going to see it from your table at Fish Lips. How cool is that? Now it's time to check out the Flow Rider and the water slides. Are you gonna do this? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Wow. We had a nice relaxing afternoon of going on the flow rider and going on the slide and hanging out in the solarium. So now we're gonna go get all ready to go to watch us sail away and then have Brian's birthday dinner, which he has chosen at Johnny Rocket. We're leaving our spot here in the solarium and we're going up to our room, which is really weird that we have to go up to get to our stateroom. It is funny. Well, well, well. What do you have here? Looks like I got a cake. Some sort of cake. Thank you. Maybe, of course. You know what else that you have that you don't know that you have? What? You have $25 in arcade credit. Really? Uh-huh. How wow. did you get that? Thank you. I don't I guess Santa, I don't Santa know. Santa got it for you. What's this? Happy birthday. Celebrate chocolate cake for Stu Beanie. Did you order that too? The I don't think so. Huh. Well. Happy birthday. Let's uh, have one and head down to the helipad. Well, let's do it. Cheers. Okay, we made it to the helipad. Let's find our room. Oh. It is... It's hard because it's above. Probably right there, at the top over there. But like toward the right of the... I think I see it, actually. Yeah, I do too. I see it more than you see it. The captain is definitely looking at us right now. Do you think he's talking about my pants? <laughs> uh, yeah. They always are. <laughs> Okay, we're off. Now we're moving. Wow. By Port Canaveral. Happy birthday, Brian. <laughs> You're on a yeah. cruise that moves. Right now, we are passing by Jetty Park, right there. And that is an awesome place to go if you're close by. Um, it's close for us, we only have to drive an hour, but um, it's really cool just to go there and watch the ships leave. Yeah, and you can wave to all the people on board. Yeah. And you can take your camera out, take your drone up. Yeah, you can fly a kite and crash it. Yeah, like take your dog there. Well, no, I don't think you can bring a dog. Oh, don't listen don't to me. Don't bring your dog. You can just like um, park your car right there and then like you're literally watch the ships leave. Right on top of the ships. I don't literally. know if like other people would get enjoyment from that. Actually, if you're watching this video, you probably would, you get, would probably get enjoyment from it, but only if you're close by. Yeah. We're walking through the promenade now on our way to dinner. First time walking through the promenade on this ship. Look at the, the Playmakers is here. They have Playmakers. That's really cool. I hope we can go there sometime. Yeah. They got the Cafe Promenade. Oh, also Sorrento's is right there too. They still have this, but it doesn't serve your Starbucks. Um, but they do have Ben and Jerry's. 
they don't have, what was it called? The chocolate fudge? Is yeah, chocolate brownie. fudge brownie. They don't have the brownie fudge one. They never do, did they? No, it's too good. They have the secret stairway down to the casino. Oh, it's the bamboo room. The bamboo room. Which we want to go there too because they have uh, some uh, sliders that we want to yeah, try. Yeah, they have barbecue sliders or something. I want that. They have a little dune buggy thing. Wow, we're already so far away from Florida. Bye, Florida. But yeah, we're heading to Johnny Rockets. It's my birthday, so I get to choose. I've chosen Johnny Rockets primarily because I like to keep it casual. Yep. And I want to sit outside. There you go. We got our, well, I got a chocolate Oreo shake. Here's the thing, you're not gonna like it because it's vanilla with like chocolate stuff in it. There's two ways restaurants make shakes. One is they'll put chocolate ice cream and milk and make a chocolate shake. The other way is vanilla ice cream with chocolate sauce and milk. The vanilla way is a scam because that's a vanilla chocolate, that's not chocolate. We got these shakes for free because we used our diamond drink voucher. Which is super cool and this is my first time using my diamond drink voucher. Yeah, we get four specialty drinks a day. Which we will never use because right now you've used one and now this is two more. We haven't even used all of one of ours. It's honestly the best perk of diamond status. Seriously. Yeah. We both decided to get the salad from Jonathan Rockets. <laughs> and I think our waitress was like, are you sure you don't want to have a burger? And we're like, no, we just want the salad. <laughs> <laughs> just the salad. Hey, it's like that Seinfeld episode we just watched. It is. Just the salad. Just the salad. <laughs> <laughs> we're digesting after our Johnny Rockets salad. I mean, the thing is, is we had ice cream, hot dogs, um, windjammer. I wouldn't have been able to eat a burger. No. I don't regret it. Uh -uh. We got the sun setting over there. Beautiful. And I want to see if we can see the green flash. Can you explain to me what that is? If you're like at the beach or something or on a ship and you can see the sunset like like this where it's like completely flat out here. The second the sun completely dips into the water, like the sun will like turn green. But it's dipped into the water, so how will you see it? I don't know, but it, it happens and I've seen it before in Naples. I literally saw it before. Well, I'm gonna see it today. It's like, it's like a myth, the green flash. I think we might see, like these are the type of conditions that you have to have to see it. So it's not like the superhero, the flash? Cause no. he's green, right? No. Okay, but you have to like look, like stare at it. Like, yeah, stare at the sun. Um, and it's gonna be like, like as soon as like the moment where it dips below the water. I'm looking. Okay, we didn't get it. <laughs> it didn't happen. Oh my god. Just, just keep watching sunsets and maybe one day you'll see one and be as lucky as me. Wow. Okay, so right now I feel like you're lying to me. So for Brian's birthday, I got him some arcade credits, which he's going to see if he can get working now. We're going to win a duck and then we're going to hide it. And I'm really glad they have this machine on here. Yeah. So that we can hide a duck. Absolutely. So what duck do we want to hide? The giraffe looking one. Okay, I can't reach that one. Okay, not that one. I hate that one. I'm gonna go for this butterfly duck. Oh. Oh, I didn't. You got a different one. Okay. That's okay. That's why you don't pick one to go for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a cash duck. Oh, I like that. Cash money. Let's go hide it. We decided Carrie needs to get a duck too. Oh. oh. Okay, so never mind. You I don't get to hide it. one. But didn't they say like it's play till you win? Oh, one? this one isn't. Yeah. Okay, so. Okay, no, no, no. We're gonna swipe it again. Oh my god, oh I suck. God. Okay, I don't deserve one. Let's go hide your cash money one. Well, because this duck is green, it kind of matches the bamboo room. It does. So we're gonna just. What do you think? Uh, that's good. Someone will find that, I think. And I think they'll be happy. We'll check on that maybe tomorrow. Yeah, I love that. Do you want to check out the store? Yeah, let's do it. This is called the market. Let's see what's in store. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> okay, this one looks nice. It does look this nice. Looks, this store looks nicer than uh, some of the other gift shops we've seen on other ships. What do you need from this store? I don't, I think 
I think I need this. Some sequins? Yeah. I need some sequins in my life. Are we gonna have a Gus? Oh, I hope so. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at this oh Gus. Oh my gosh. We haven't had this Gus before. He's a good Gus. That's a... Like a bear or like a sloth. That's a sloth and we haven't had one of those before. Maybe, what about your card? This is Mr. from our stateroom Brian. attendant. Aww. Wow. And we got a cruise compass. Wow. And yes, we have an amazing race blanket. Yeah. We brought that from home. Don't don't get too excited. Because we were on the show. Just no. <laughs> <laughs> we wish. Yeah. You know, now that we're, you know, YouTubers, oh. we're going to qualify. No. <laughs> if you're a fan of the amazing race, you would know that this blanket looks exactly like the mat they have to step on at the pit stops. I would know that. <laughs> but anyway, here we are. We're heading away from Florida, going to Nassau right now. We're going to eat some of this cake. Good thing we didn't have a burger at Johnny Rockets, so we can Thank enjoy this. <laughs> Thank wow. you for all the presents and the cake oh and everything. Oh my gosh, stop it. This is very decadent. We're going to eat this cake, then go to bed. Tomorrow, we will see you in Nassau. By the way, this looks really good. It does. I'm a vanilla lover, but like this looks good. In our next video, we head to Nassau for fun in the sun at Blue Lagoon Island.